Well, where do we go from here with energy? The global environment, it is said, has been irreparably damaged due to harmful emission of energy. Because of this, nuclear power is being prioritized as a clean energy option. Remember to stay with us to learn more about the future of nuclear energy. Well, what does the term nuclear fusion entail to you? New nuclei and subatomic particles can be formed whenever two or more atomic nuclei collide. The term nuclear fusion, neutrons or protons may refer to this process. The mass difference between the reactants and the products determines whether or not energy is given off or taken in during a chemical reaction. The differences in nuclear binding energy that existed before and after the reaction cause this change in mass. Nuclear fusion is the process that powers active or main sequence stars as well as the other high magnitude stars. It results in the release of large amounts of energy. But what is fusion? The Sun and other stars derive their power from fusion. Hydrogen nuclei clash, fuse into heavier helium atoms and unleash enormous amounts of energy in the intense heat and gravity at the center of these star bodies. The interaction between two hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, was determined to be the most effective fusion reaction in the laboratory by 20th century fusion science. At lowest temperatures, the DT fusion reaction yields the most significant energy gain. To accomplish fusion in a lab setting, three requirements must be met. A very high temperature on the order of 150 million degrees Celsius, enough plasma particle density to increase the possibility that collisions do occur and enough confinement duration. A gas transforms into a plasma frequently referred to as the fourth state of matter when electrons are separated from nuclei at very high temperatures. Fusion plasmas offer the conditions necessary for the fusion of light elements to produce energy. Strong magnetic fields are utilized in a tokamak device to contain and regulate the plasma. The tokamak The tokamak is an experimental device made to capture fusion energy. The energy generated by the fusion of atoms inside a tokamak enters the vessel's walls as heat. Like a traditional power plant, a fusion plant will utilize this heat to create steam before converting it into energy using turbines and generators. A tokamak's vacuum chamber, which has the shape of a donut, is its brain. Gaseous hydrogen fuel reaches a plasma state under extremely high heat and pressure which is the ideal setting for fusing hydrogen atoms to produce energy. Physics uses this crucial ability to confine the hot plasma away from the vessel, walls by shaping and controlling the charged particles of the plasma using the enormous magnetic coils positioned around the vessel. The word tokamak is derived from the Russian abbreviation toroidal chamber with magnetic coils. The tokamak, which Soviet scientists in the late 1960s created, is now recognized as the most promising design for a magnetic fusion device. With a plasma chamber volume 10 times larger than the largest machine now in use, ITER will be the largest tokamak in the world. Let's look at the various inventions that can be used in the generation of nuclear fusion energy. Number 1. The Wendelstein 7X Stellarator the Wendelstein 7X or W7X reactor was completed in October 2015 by the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics in Greifswald, Germany. This experimental reactor won't create electricity but will be used to examine future fusion power plant components. A fusion device's magnetic field encloses the hot plasma to prevent energy losses from plasma particles wandering outward. Magnetic field ripples can cause energy loss. IPP states that a stellarator's twisted coils must be tuned to decrease ripples and prevent energy losses which rise with plasma temperature. Stellarator fusion aims to achieve optimal continuous operation and plasma confinement with tokamax. 50 Wendelstein 7X has 3.5 meter tall superconducting niobium titanium magnet coils. Once turned on, IPPs hardly utilize any energy. Optimizing their forms created a thermally insulating, stable magnetic cage for the plasma. IPP says the magnetic field has five-fold symmetry, five modules from the pentagonal structure. Each module has ten coils with two upside downs. Overall, there are five types of coils. A ring-shaped support structure maintains the stellarator coils in place. The IPP website gives a virtual tour of the plasma-producing machine. Wendelstein 7X can generate high temperature plasmas, setting a stellar rate of fusion product record. Fusion product depends on temperature, plasma density and confinement time. 
IPP's thought experiment showed that optimization efforts were successful. If plasma values and profiles were achieved in a suboptimal magnetic field, energy losses would exceed input heating power. Wendelstein 7X had a well-optimized magnetic field since losses greater than input are physically impossible. He Lander, head of Stellarator Theory, said Wendelstein 7X plasma profiles require minor neoclassical losses. Wendelstein field optimization minimized neoclassical losses. Wendelstein 7X hasn't continuously operated. A water-cooled wall covering will allow researchers to always test the Wendelstein concept for 30 minutes. Number 2. Alcator C Mod In operation from 1991 to 2016, the Alcator C Mod tokamak was housed at MIT. The Alcator C Mod possesses the strongest toroidal magnetic field and the highest plasma pressure. Until 2016, it served as a significant research center for fusion in the United States. In October 2013, Alcator C Mod went out of business. In 2014, the experiment received a maintenance budget of $22 million from Congress. Since February 2014, a great deal of change has occurred. Even though the Omnibus Act stipulated that there would be no more funds available after financial year 2016, it was extended for financial year 2015. In 2016, the plasma pressure of the Alcator C mod device reached 2.05 atmosphere, representing a 15% increase from 2014. Plasma at a temperature of 35 million degrees and a duration of 2 seconds created 600 trillion fusion reactions. For the experiment, a toroidal magnetic field of 5.7 teslas was applied. On its very last day, it was able to accomplish this. In September 2016, all operations were halted to guarantee a safe shutdown and there are currently no plans to conduct any future tests. Building on the previous 20 years of collected information, the experimental and theoretical teams continue to analyze and publish their findings. The atmospheric record set by the Alcator C2.05 mod is anticipated to stand for a significant amount of time. The ITER tokamak in France is the only one with a chance of breaking this record. Since ITER won't be utterly operational until 2032, the Alcator C record mods will remain in place for the entire time. Number 3. ITER Nuclear Reactor ITER is a massive international nuclear fusion research and engineering project that aims to produce energy by simulating the fusion processes of the Sun on Earth. Originally known as the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER's Latin name means the way or the path. It will be the most prominent experimental tokamak nuclear fusion reactor and the world's largest magnetic confinement plasma physics experiment with the main reactor and first plasma are finished, which is anticipated to happen in late 2025. In southern France, it is being constructed near the Cadarache complex. With 10 times the plasma volume of any other tokamak now in operation, ITER will be the biggest of the more than 100 fusion reactors constructed since the 1950s. ITER's thermonuclear fusion reactor will employ about 300 megawatts of electrical power to heat plasma for 400 to 600 seconds. This is a tenfold ink measured by heating input to thermal output. In August 2021, the National Ignition Facility reactor reached a capacity of 0.7 for nuclear fusion energy output. The reactor and infrastructure will need 110 megawatts to 620 megawatts peak for 30-second plasma operations. As a research reactor, the heat will be released. Unlike current smaller-scale experimental fusion devices, ITER will pave the way for future demonstration power plants. The facility will allow researchers to examine plasmas in settings representative of a future power plant and test heating, control, diagnostic, cryogenic and remote maintenance technologies. Today's fusion research is on the verge of studying a burning plasma in which the heat generated by the fusion reaction is efficiently contained within the plasma, allowing the response to continue for an extended time. Scientists are optimistic that ITER's plasmas will generate significantly more fusion energy and maintain the stability for considerably longer. In 2012, the ITER organization was approved as a nuclear operator in France based on a rigorous and unbiased evaluation of its safety files, marking a significant milestone in fusion history. One of the critical goals of ITER operation is to demonstrate plasma and fusion reaction control with low environmental impacts. Well, that marks the end of today's video. I hope you had a great time. On your way out, don't forget to click the like, subscribe button and leave a review. Thanks for watching.